Be careful. The further in time you get, the more likely you are to become lost. Your life shall cease. High and low doesn't matter. This is the path. In the meantime, let's hear this beautiful open that yes. has been done. Yay! We, we, One oh, of my great. talents is the weird noises. So. <laughs> no, personally, you're right. Don't stop making weird noises. Weird just... noises are we talking about here? <laughs> Sounds like a dolphin. Why we went right to dolphins <laughs> and goats, I don't know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and a monkey. Andron Splintered Asylum is run by the famous Baron Doctor, Medin Gimme, and his staff. Splintered is known for its skilled work with the insane and its treatments of serious mental disorders. Some think Dr. Medin's experiments push the boundaries of morality. His most notorious experiment that received great criticism in 4712 AR subjected a schizophrenic patient to partial brain removal, and it was implanted in a flesh golem. Once the golem broke free of its restraints and escaped the asylum, it steadily took prey of children until the Almas Guard finally captured and killed the beast. It is rumored that Medan has mastered the skill of cloning, which he uses to correct his patient's disorders. Most claim he is a miracle worker. Wow. That's terrifying. Uh, that is, wow. Yeah. There's so much there, so wow. many layers. <laughs> I'm grabbing my pants. Great. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. Welcome to episode 17. Yeah, that Ooh. is terrifying hearing about the asylum that potentially your friend Mora was checked into by the halflings. It, I think it's one of the only ones that is in almost, to be honest. So, you know, uh, their, their, their choice. choice. Yeah, yeah, their choice is very limited. Fine. Yeah. Seems like a perfectly lovely place. So, but, we'll, well, we'll she has leave no insurance, there. so Don't she worry. had to go there. So, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Clerics, you know how it is. <laughs> how, how, how is it? <laughs> well, why won't they just clone them and then split the brain of the clone to then be able to split Ooh. it? I think the cloning came after the brain splitting. Uh, yeah, really I think brain it. splitting was like the first step and now they figured out how to clone. But the doctor still likes to blame. But they the still brain. like to split the brain. Yeah, just for funsies. Yeah. I'm so concerned. Brain splitting. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Morris. She, yeah, no, Brooke had no more. idea where she was. Last episode was really wonderful. There was so much story covered in the last couple. Like, really, the whole campaign kind of got tied up in the original storyline. And I, this cold open is really a little longer than normal, but I think it's so pertinent. Should we listen to that? I think so. Yeah. Oh, God, Please. yeah, absolutely. Hell okay. yeah. Plus, uh, Tom, you weren't even here last time. Mel joined in for last episode, but... And Brooke, yeah, you, you're I'm, in an insane asylum, so. I'm not even here. <laughs> Brooke, you're just crazy. doctor. So. Yeah, you're just playing <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right, good luck. <laughs> she goes for the knock. He knocked over Tracy. This well, is how do I stop this? I'm this is the first boy. time in Pathfinder RPG ever. Put down what you're doing. Aim for the wanker. And listen up. So now I pull down my my hilt and I proceed to pee I, on light form. Yeah, I, I'm unconscious. I presume all this. I hope so. You wish you weren't unconscious. <laughs> A lot happened on the last few episodes. I'm surrounded by idiots. The Pathfinders were sent by the almost Pathfinder captain to look into a hideout, but no one was home. Is that? It's Anastasia's. It's from Arden. That locks it, then. She's alive, Luna. Well, we might be in her lair right now. And Mora sprung a trap. I'll go drown my sorrows in scouting the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> and she triggers a trap. Seven plus eight. And her eyes go across. That can't be good. And had to be taken back to the city asylum. I've seen this before. 
We can fix her. I need to bring her back to Alma, though, and we have no time to waste. Later that night, Theros needed a bathroom break. I'm not going to urinate in uh, the opening of the... You have to be in the third tree from the left or it doesn't count. <laughs> oh, it seems that we've got company. And I say, who are you? <laughs> the name's Theros Lightsworn, my lady. The hideout's occupants were finally home. Oh, so he's still going, huh? <laughs> Sorry, almost done. I've introduced myself. Who who are in God's name are you? Can I take him out with an arrow? Into the leg. Very close <laughs> to the dick. <laughs> Lady Rosamund, I think he needs an arrow in the ass now. I'm on that. <laughs> 20. Oh my god. That oh was a critical goodness. hit. Gracious. After knocking Theros out, they took him to another camp to interrogate him. I don't think we're gonna let you up until you tell us who you are. I've already told you that. I'm Theros Lightsworn of the Lightsworns, champion of Ioma Day. Oh, by the way, we never put uh, Theros's pants back up, right? They're still down. <laughs> I, I, I move him closer to the fire, like really too close for comfort. <laughs> Cut to Luna and Ren back at the hideout, who knew something was wrong because Theros had been missing for too long. So Luna used her rogue talents to track Theros down while leaving Ren back at the hideout. As I go ahead and walk up, get a little bit closer to Anastasia and try and make eye contact with Theros. He definitely notices you as well as Stan. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand, my other hand up to go ahead and show that I don't have anything on me. And there was an immediate chemistry. And he extends his hand because quite frankly, he's used to winning the love of most people. Uh, <laughs> does, does Luna know that, it, is he attacking her? <laughs> oh, he comes to, no, he has no weapon. He shows no weapon. You, you threw okay. your arms up and he uh, played his bagpipe. He's just yeah. playing. <laughs> he, wow. I feel like I just got proposed to in the last episode. Now she's engaged to a happening, you home record. <laughs> <laughs> Luna recognized Anastasia. They got caught up. So it has been, in fact, like two and a half years. And last time you guys saw each other, was Deanna's character, Anastasia, was abducted at the docks as you guys didn't know she wasn't on the boat as you were leaving to go to Absalon. I've been in, in the Darklands. I've been fighting Queen Genu. I, we've been dealing with the drow. We've been taking them out from the inside. That name sounds familiar. Uh, uh, Luna, are those the drow that yeah. the Hodges mentioned before? Those are the ones that were responsible for what happened to all of you in the first place. No? Yes, we've gotten so close to the queen. The drow are so low in numbers. We've taken him out. They've taken us out. You have to explain to Anastasia what happened to her dad, because she's very curious about this. Your father sacrificed himself to save us, along with Aiden, um, in order to save us in the Canyon of Death. I'm so sorry for your loss. My father's dead. Yes. Theros, pulling up his pants, finally found a secret note. Oh, hello, what's this? Seems to be a note. I crumpled up the hand, I, I crumpled it up in my hand, and I just turned to Luna and said, I want to go back to the capital. I need to see Mora. Right now, can we wait? No. I, I don't want to wait. I, I want mean... to go see Mora. But before they could go rescue Mora, or go back to the hideout for Ren, the Drow Queen Janu and the remainder of her Drow troops tracked Anastasia and the Brotherhood down. I charged in the forest. I didn't say. Oh, I didn't say. Oh, Jackie, Anastasia. <laughs> I yelled after him. I didn't say charge in. Oh. Ah, uh, forever. It is part of the Thieves Guild, but you guys have been found, it seems. So. I look at Luna and I said, all I said was stay out front. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Men can misconstrue things very easily. Yeah, yeah. But the drow queen, Janu, wasn't going down easy. You will regret what you've done. Daddy. And she cast a spell. Well, you guys, you two have a hair arrow stuck in you. Uh, <laughs> this is for the lodge in Absalon, you bastards. And I oh. hold up my wayfinder. Yeah. And from the wayfinder, a Ooh. fireball launches out. Ooh. Oh. It's a fourth level fireball. So the death of the Drow Queen Janu meant the Opara Narrows Pathfinder Lodge finally had redemption. Oh, awesome. I chop off her fing head. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. My God. Wow. Oh, wow. I like her Those. style. Slice off her head. Oh and I watch God. it roll away. 
Wow. And then I cast light again to try and find it in the darkness. <laughs> Can you get the flashlight? It's, it's yeah. hard because she's a drow. It's very dark. <laughs> we begin tonight's adventure with Anastasia, Luna, Theros, and the gang going back to retrieve Ren from the hideout. And, Is he um, dead yet? It's not going to stick either way. <laughs> this has been a great episode. <laughs> wow, what a cold open. That was amazing. That was epic wow. cold open. Great job, guys. Oh, man. Freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, if you got your pants down. It yeah, was gotta... insanity. It was a lot. You guys, the whole drow fight, we have to hear about this at some point, like what you've been going through the last two years, the train up. And you guys are pretty beefy, You're, you and the Brotherhood, Anastasia. Mm. You guys are like muscle bound. It's, it's great. Is, is it just, but is it just me and, and those the three stooges left or are there more of them well <laughs> just I once think, tonight yeah i think the, the others are going to go back to the brotherhood uh, now that you've they've met your your request by taking out queen janu and your main henchman jack will stay with you i'll never leave you anastasia <laughs> good he'll always that's, be the first in that's what i wanted to hear <laughs> brooke you dm'd your first session I did indeed. What kind of monster? Do you have a mind flare? What do you have? I had um, Ooblex. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Spooky. Ooblex you and a level alive? 11 undead warlock. Wait, you mean one of these? Uh, Shannon's got one right there. You got Whoa. one right there? That's wild. That was quick. That's amazing. <laughs> you had it on hand. <laughs> how, did, how, did you, how did you know I damned with Ooblex? That's wild. You always need an Ooblex handy. See, <laughs> if you're just tuning into Loaded Dice Rollers, you're with pros. I mean, that, <laughs> that's how pros do it. Yeah. I was actually at the grocery store wearing the shirt, and she's like, oh, is that D&D? And I was like, yeah. You check out the podcast, and I, you know, on the back, <laughs> yeah. we, don't have the, we, we don't sell these shirts, they're, they're, but it, Loaded Dice Rollers on the back. And uh, she's like, oh, man. This is great. And she's like, I got to tell so-and-so and so-and-so. It's like, yeah, I'll tell your friends. Nice. And they the people. police. And you guys aren't, aren't going to want to miss <laughs> out on what's coming up, too. We have some really great guest stars for the rest of the season. Amazing, amazing, amazing people. But I'm most thrilled because we're looking at the map right now, right? We have somebody from Astral Tabletop coming to play with us next session oh, very so, awesome that's oh, really that's good astral if we're not playing it right i guess they'll let us know yeah you can show me how to attack somebody <laughs> on this properly uh, I, I always forget how to like draw lines and stuff on our screen we see you guys on astral tabletop thanks astral yeah thanks, we do Bizo. thanks woo, mcleod woo. ale thanks uh emerald knights yeah thanks. thank you jay thank you leaving richmond for the great music over the years Yeah, leaving <laughs> richmond yes right yeah you got to check out leaving richmond on spotify we haven't talked about that enough that's like uh, that they're amazing. Oh, very true. They're great. And Pandora. And Pandora, yeah, that's right. And so we find you guys on Astral at your camp, and it's it's morning. You know, it takes a lot to get urine out of armor like this. <laughs> I won't mm. I won't forget that. I mean, it rained last <laughs> night, and it still smells. That sounds like a personal problem. This is well-made armor, madam. <laughs> right, it keeps the smells trapped in. That is, that's a good thing. Yeah. It's like a scuba diving suit. You just yeah, but in. your friend there, that ain't on the outside. I did not piss on you. That was Lady. Yeah, <laughs> always does I would it to say everybody. that name is misleading. I would say that's misleading. <laughs> really didn't want it to happen. I still really don't know why it happened. <laughs> yeah, well, get your people you... in line, madam. I try. I try. No one ever informed me. Actually, I kind of don't really want to know. But um... hey, Luna, where's Ren? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Uh, mentioned that he was knocked out in the bed in that cave back there, so we should probably go get him. Oh, that must be nice. He was taking a snooze while some well, of us yeah, were getting accosted was... by ruffians. Well, then don't I... get up in the middle of the night to pee. Look, or don't nature pee calls, on her but tree. nature calls. I didn't expect to get accosted by bandits. Yeah, well, always, always bring back. a friend. Always bring a friend. Yeah. And and don't pee on someone's tree. Mm-hmm. I didn't see your name on the tree until Lady told me that the name was actually on the tree. It didn't look high enough. All right, so we rested, yes? Yes, yes. everybody's rested, very nice. Nice rest. Seven and you wake up bitches. and the campfire mm -hmm. smoldered out and you know, you hear the sounds of mourning and although two of the tents were burnt and <clears> so you guys all slept under one or something. You wake up and you find out 
Anastasia, two of your friends have left in the night. Lady Roseman and Stan Dandy Liver have left the campsite and they've gone back to join the Brotherhood. And they encourage you to do that at some point too. Uh, but for now, Jack Trades is your loyal, loyal follower. He's just, we don't even know why. So Bordering on creepy, I'd say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Loyalty I, bordering on creepy. I put my hand on, on Jack's shoulder mm-hmm. and, and I say, this is your moment <laughs> to be someone different. <laughs> I'm learning. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I give, I give him a pat. I'll be anyone you want me to be. I mean, I mean yes, yes. <laughs> He, goes, he takes a leak on the, the campfire. Ooh, proud of you, Jack. Uh, Thanos trips the hilt of the sword. He's like, I'm so tempted right now. <laughs> come up and see if ever there was one. Well, Is this better, or, Anastasia? And, Is this better? I'm not peeing on him. I'm proud of you, Jack. Thank you. And I turn to Luna and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, should we uh, leave this trauma camp site? That's yeah. Yeah. the trauma camp. <laughs> Two right now, we yeah. yeah, we go back. Yeah, yeah. I'd just like to say that I think it's unfair that some the people can you urinate stay. wherever they want to. The longer you continue to stay here, fine. No, that's right. We need to get back to Almas. That's true. Yes. Hey, be- before we before we get back, uh, Theros, what was in that letter? Ooh. What letter? <clears throat> the letter that you had last night. The you want us to change all the things that we were talking about. The one right here, he picks it up because you, you crumbled it up last time I threw it in the ground. The one right here. <laughs> oh no, no. Star, star. He did, he crumbled. <laughs> I crumbled it in my hand. I didn't throw it down. Who's Mora? Give me that. Uh, and he comes uh, over Mora. and takes it. <laughs> it's from Mora? It's from Mora, yes. What does it say? Well, I don't know you very well, and, I, and your <laughs> band of brigands. I read well, it. I, I can know. give you the summary if you want, unless no, you he's going to read that's it. That's fine. I'll take point on this one. You don't need to summarize it. <laughs> okay. I don't want your misinterpretation of something that's that's rather important. Should we get Ren first? We should or... probably, yes. I, I, want, I want Ren to hear this too, because you you, you two are legitimate companions <laughs> and have been on this journey. And wait, it'd probably sorry. be relevant yeah. to Ren to hear about it. All of a sudden, Anastasia goes, wait, Ren's here too? Oh, that's right. Yes. You know him too, Please. don't you? I do, I forgot, <laughs> but it's been a long time. Uh, yeah, I think he's probably still uh, in, I think we found where you were sleeping a while back. That's uh, creepy, but gonna... okay. Also creepy, yes. He wanted to sleep oh. specifically in your bed. He was very specific about that. Uh, so you go back to the hideout, which is actually a broken down temple. Uh, some cave-ins have happened in the in the hallways and stuff, but Anastasia, you were calling this home with your brotherhood. Hang outside for a second, guys. And you, use this place because it has access to the dark lands there are these tunnels that lead directly down right into the dark lands so that you could do your missions on queen janu which has been very effective for you guys the bitch is dead that's right you got her head what'd you do with her head by the way i kicked it oh okay played soccer okay (laughs) yeah as you guys approach the the front you hear you hear something peculiar who's in my head right now I don't know who I am. What do you mean? It, it, wait a second. I'm, I'm hallucinating. I'm, I'm hearing voices. It seems that when I'm in here or in your head, then I'm in control. And when you decide that you don't want me here, you kick me out someplace and I haven't figured that out. And then you're in control. Look, you're not a voice in my head. You're talking through my mouth. I can, I can sense what you're feeling. Hold your hand out, kid. I'm gonna show you something. What what do you mean, raise my hand up? What's going on with me? See? That's real magic. That's something that you've never seen before. Kid, I don't know why I'm here, and I don't really remember anything except floating in space or some shit like that. But I do know I'm magical, and I do know I'm powerful. So let's figure this out together. This is a good thing. A good thing for me and a good thing for you. So I'm here if you need me. Kid, don't worry about it. We're gonna figure this out together. Right now, I've gotta go. I've gotta figure some stuff out. But I'll be back. So don't go anywhere without me. What do you mean don't go anywhere without you? You're in my head. Where? Hello? Hello? Oh, nice. So you hear this uh, reverbed 
echoey conversation between somebody you know, Ren, and a darker, gruffier voice. You, you hear it bouncing down the, the corridor. Did you see there's only from. one person down there? <laughs> yeah, when yeah. Luna walks up and hears it, she kind of starts dazing out, almost as if she's like soaking it in, but she doesn't know why. I thought it was just Ren in there. I just want to say for the record that this isn't too secret a hideout. It doesn't seem very secret at all. It sounds like you've got a parade of people coming in and out of here. So, again, I would just like to bring light to the fact that you defended this hovel pretty aggressively. And meanwhile, it seems like open access to anybody that wants it in there. Now Ren's having a conversation with a random person. It was a lot more secure until you came around and made noise. Yeah, thanks. Something from the Darklands could have come up through the tunnel, so... You do have suspicion. So, do you draw blades? What do you do? Uh, Luna's actually a little frozen. Did I tell you guys why we have this hideout? No, no. you may have well, during the, uh, the the frequent urinations on me, but I wasn't aware because I was busy being <laughs> urinated on. So, no, why don't you fill us in? That's fair. Well, <laughs> there is access to the Darklands through this building. Ow. So if you don't know who else is in there talking with Ren, we should probably be worried. Oh, is that a two-way street into the Darklands? Yeah, it's oh. it's it's just a it's a tunnel. The oh, only that thing that I can say is doesn't seem very sophisticated at all. <laughs> it's not my tunnel. I didn't make it. I'm just here defending it. God, something in my gut tells me that whatever whoever is in there is not threatening Ooh, interesting like there's something in my gut like i it's one of those undescribable things wait wait and before, you see luna just start walking straight in before you go in there avoid the right side because you'll trigger a mind trap i know i've already <laughs> seen we're familiar with blocked. that one. Oh, it was triggered yeah <laughs> yes oh, no. it was no. my dear friend jack off of trades <laughs> <laughs> your friend's gonna need some help well, supposedly there are two da darling halflings that are taking good care of her right now, and I'm sure she's Luna. getting the best possible care that she can. Luna! Ren! Luna! And I run to her, and I give her a big hug, yeah. and I squeeze tight. Luna! Did you find Theros? Hi, Ren! We're going I back to Almas as quickly as possible. Hi, it's great to see you. Can we go now, please? We have things to do. Anastasia? You're, you're alive? We've... And, and he runs up and he and he gives her a hug too. Oh, hi, Ren. It's I. I'm glad to see that you're alive too. What happened? Yeah, after after I was kidnapped, um, I was I was held prisoner for a while by the Brotherhood of Silence, and but then eventually they kind of absorbed me into one of them, and I eventually moved up in the ranks, and I'm one of the leading powers here now, and we've been fighting the drow, and we we killed Queen Janu last night. We, yeah, we did. She's dead. Wait a second. What do you mean you, you, you... And we cut off her head. It was pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, Those who took away everything from us, they're... I just, I can't believe this. It's like so much happened, and I feel it's been five minutes since I saw you last. It's, you know, I sat in your bed. I was trying to look at the cave and, and see what you s see. This other voice popped into my head out of nowhere and just took over. Anastasia, I think you triggered the other mind trap. <laughs> uh... Oh, no. We need to get you help immediately, my friend. This is Jack, my uh, Tweedledum comrade. <laughs> Okay, and, she, and you're mm -hmm. from the guild too? Of course. Shh. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we should... Star for Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Theros, what's going on with Mora? She she went back to get... I probably actually should go to where she is right now because I got to get my head checked. I feel like I'm falling apart. Look, I was urinated on. I yeah, experienced I far more trauma say, than you we, did. Uh... Can we move this conversation outside? Because this is a small tunnel and you reek. So, <laughs> Aspis Consortium, go ahead and lead the way. I've been pretending to be one of the Aspis agents and taking them out from the inside, pretending to be Doriana. So if you've heard of her running around here, mm -hmm. it was probably me secretly stabbing. 
So Ren, mm. remember when we got sent out here? It was because they were following Anastasia. Anastasia, I have to tell you something. Arden didn't make it. He. Uh, oh, I already told her. Yeah. You told you told her. Or- Day late and a dollar short, Ren. Sorry, how we've already covered have that. I've been here alone. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was about twelve hours. I- Oh, well, are you alone? You were talking to someone pretty hot and heavy in there. <laughs> Just voices talking. I'm tired. I've been... Hey, light piss. I mean, light swan. Are you going to read that letter or what? I'm waiting here. Or should I give the summary version? No, no. That's fine. I'll tell my actual friends what the letter pertains to. And, and Ren, I owe you an explanation, too, about why we need to get back to almost quickly. And he, he opens up the letter and reads it. Theros. I suppose if you're reading this, I may be a bit dead. Hm? A bit dead or practically dead. Worse than dead, maybe. I'm sorry for being so morbid. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I'm sorry for what my family has done. I'm sorry for what they've done to yours. I'm sorry for the role I played in this, and I'm sorry for tricking you. For lying by omission. I'm sorry for my family's role in the Aspis Consortium. I can only hope that the medicines didn't harm anyone in your family, and I hope most of all they didn't harm you. I first joined you as a way of repentance. I quickly became more than that. As silly as you may be, you never failed to make me smile. You are my dearest friend and my best companion. Please, Theros, save those that can be saved. Live your days with the same boisterous laugh and your unending enthusiasm. I do adore you. Find some in paths, dearest. Mora. P.S. Mr. Spitfire loves you. <laughs> you guys definitely have questions about Mr. Spitfire. Oh, I know who Mr. Spitfire is. <laughs> yeah, we've seen Mr. Spitfire. Yeah. This girl's your friend? She's a dear friend. Sounds like she screwed over your family, Lice Swan. <laughs> you know what? There's a lot to unpack in that letter, and that's why we're going back to Almas. Listen, oh. I've known her since I was a child. We used to take vacations. Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So Theros draws a sword at that. He's like, "You take it back, brigand. Wait, take wait, it back. Take take what back? What'd I do? Take it back." <laughs> I stand in front of Jack and I say, "Guys, he's a dipshit. He's gonna do this all the time. Get used to it." You're right. I'm learning, Anastasia. I'm learning. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you're I, doing I, great, Jack. I apologize, last one. I'll take it back for Jack. Okay. Let's go save your friend. I, I turn and I, I give I give Jack a pat on the back and I say, "You're doing good. Sorry for the name calling. We just had to move on." <laughs> I'll uh, I'll sheathe the sword and say, "Can we move now?" As we start to go, I I, I turn and I say, "Wait, do do you still have the aspis?" What did Master Newton tell you? Um, I know that it needs to be destroyed. Uh, I'm sorry. The Aspis is not leaving my possession. Hold on, are we talking about something with the same name as the Aspis Consortium? Yeah. It sounds pretty dangerous, Ren. Why don't you just get rid of it and toss it out? Why do you want to keep it? I thought you just couldn't get rid of it. I promised Master Newton that I would find out what this is and and, and get it to where it belongs. And, And I'm going to keep that promise. As a Pathfinder, this is my path. You, you taught us that when we were young. You were there the whole time, Anastasia. I'm not, I'm sorry, I can't give this to you. I, I, yes, Anastasia. I think you need some help there, Rana. Anastasia, we need to get him back to the ward. Yeah, obviously you're not speaking correctly right now. So we'll come back to this later. Luna, she's not taking the Aspis. I understand. And on that, you guys start your travel back to Almas. And this time you take the halfling shortcut. The no, this is short. way quicker. Yeah. 
<laughs> Those halflings, <laughs> even though they're a great lot, they were really holding out on us. <laughs> oh, they're paid by the hour. Somebody has to do the random encounter on the way back. There's just one random it's encounter. It's time for a random encounter. Roll a D100. Yeah, that means 86. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. God. It's not 96. It's okay. 86. Thanks. You think some trees are moving in the distance? Cute. Those uh, trees are moving. It's As just if. wind. It's just wind. Anastasia <laughs> jumps to the front of the pack and pulls out her sword. Yeah, but it's just those trees. It's a giant... Uh, you know, grab your, grab your weapons. I pull out my dagger and I throw it at him. Oh wow, I see it now. I'm, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. That's a twenty-four to hit. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. And that's gonna do seven points of damage. You threw your dagger from there to hit him. That's true. It's negative two for the distance. Uh, you missed him. Sorry. Turn it. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, what, Brad. What do you see there, Anastasia? <laughs> It's a giant, like I said. Come on, get with it. Is he friendly? <laughs> Jack, <laughs> get your ass over here. <laughs> Can you talk the time to him? He needs you. Yeah. Can you talk to him. He's mad that you threw something at him. And he's a little chaotic anyway in nature. So he just takes the nearest rock and he throws it at you. Actually, it's one action. Oh my God, he can do that three times. Oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah, Good. here he goes. First time, that's plus nineteen. Uh, oh, I fumbled. Oh, oh, wow. I fumbled. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! 15. 15. That's not bad. Yeah, trip. Well, next check. DC twelve. Oh, Four. Oh, he failed for sure. He definitely trips. And he's, he's prone. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna chuck the other one from the ground. <laughs> Is there so a disadvantage for that? Yeah, yeah, it's probably minus four, I want to say. Yeah, minus four. So this one's only... It's plus 15, so minus four would be a plus 11. 14 plus 11, 25. Ooh, it just hits. And then the third one is... It's actually minus two to attack. It, so it's 11 minus two would be nine. So this is going to be plus nine. Third rock comes at you, 12 plus nine, 21. Misses. Okay, so he hits you with one. So you guys see Anastasia's in the middle is fork and a huge rock comes in and just hits her right on the noggin. Excuse me. Brutal. Uh, Excuse 8 me. plus 14, 22. 14 damage on her head. Not that bad. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he spit, he speaks jotin. <laughs> yeah. Coming, Anastasia. 1, Good. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can I get an arrow shot at him from here? Yeah, he's got partial cover. He's, All right. also, he's also prone, right? That's true. You sure he's not friendly? Yeah. <laughs> You'd think the big bruise on my head would tell you that. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, <laughs> I think it 17 plus... Yeah, you definitely um, hit him. Yeah, all right. All right, so, um, yeah, 15 points of damage. <laughs> right. He's so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> well... This worked last time. How about we light him up, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, wow. And I'll hold up my Wayfinder again and say, may you find your path and into this giant's face. Yeah, like right like <laughs> okay. there. That's good. Yes, I'd like to annihilate him from behind. Yes. All right, it's 86 damage. 23 on his reflex. Okay, so I missed it. That was the first half of damage. 12, 17 plus... Plus another 10, 27. Ooh, 27 points. Okay, very good. He grunts right. at you. Enjoy that. I've got one more action. Oh no, he wait, hates spellcasters. He hates everyone. <laughs> this is the safe route the halflings told you to take. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Nice job, Lice One. And I activate my bat, bat wings with uh, two, <laughs> two actions. Okay. And then I fly straight up. Um, so Luna's gonna go ahead and go. I'm going to activate my wayfinder and go invisible. Yo. I'm gonna go stab stab with my rapier. Okay, so the thing is, we enacted the Pathfinder one rules and three E rules with uh, attack of opportunity. So as soon mm -hmm. as you hit his attack range, yeah, his threat range, and you move five feet within it, you, he he takes a slam. Okay, well then I'll Anastasia, just... I'll keep him distracted with my bow. You go sure. around back. Sure, Jack. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> sure, Jack. And he's also going to get attacked with opportunity once you come in his threat range. All right. He throws, <laughs> he throws down the club. Five plus 19. 24. Mm. Minus two to hit. That is my AC. Okay. So he hits you with the club. It's uh, eight plus 10, 18 points of damage. You, you guys hear the trees really move. <laughs> you hear Anastasia scream. Rude! And then I'm going to hit him with my, or aim to hit him with my rapier. That's going to hit. That's a 29 to hit. Uh-huh. Yeah, you hit him. 11 points of damage. Yeah. And then I'm going to hit him again, aim to hit him again. So that's 23. And he's prone. So you just missed him. And he, he's his AC is above 23 while he's prone? 24. It kind of rolls out of the way. Got it. Bummer. Okay. You do a sneak attack damage though when he's flat-footed, right? Do you, do you add uh, extra damage? Oh, that's right. Yeah, add your extra damage for sneak attack. Two D6s. Oh. It's the giant's turn. Uh-oh. Hey, him, but he's kind of dumb, so he doesn't bother getting up, but he's just going to hit you with, with the club, I guess. There I'm going to try to jump out of the way. All right. Uh, he is minus two for trying to hit you. He's plus 19. Good. Five. Plus 19. 24 minus right. two is 22. He misses. <gasps> he missed. All wow. right. Second one. He comes over the club. Three. Wow. Oh, he really does. He misses again. Third wow. one. This one's minus 10, by the way. So he's he's technically only plus seven on this. 18 plus seven, 25. Oh, that one hits. Okay. So he swings at you three times. And he hits you on the third. Oh, uh, it could be bad. Nine plus ten, 19 points of damage. I spit on him. <laughs> he's he's angry. It, actually, he likes that. He licks it. Ew. When you spit on him, he just <laughs> goes, Oh, God, ew. <laughs> and then it is... Whose turn? Jack off's coming! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Thanks, Jack bud. trades. It's not Jack off. Jack, Jack off trades. trades. Jack, <laughs> Jack of all trades. Pulls out a sword, swings it. I'll protect you, Anastasia. Thanks, Jack. Two hits, and that is a D6 plus nine. Uh, 14 points. What's the range on a spear? 20 feet. 20. Okay, let's see, will that make it? Here's one for you, big boy. And I'll go ahead and throw a spear. <laughs> okay. 14 plus six is 20. No, sorry, 14 plus nine is 23. Just missed him. Oh, oh actually, you hit, him. you hit him. You hit him. Yay! He's, he's prone. You hit him. Five points of damage total. Grumpy guy, where are you? <laughs> hey, grumpy guy. <laughs> you said to come come back. I need you right now. Looney, you look back. and <laughs> It's like hitting his head. <laughs> he's talking to some grumpy guy. Up in the what air with a wing. Oh, can you help us? By the way, it does take an action for one of you guys to change. So don't make your conversation too long. It looks like you guys are in some trouble. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then boot him out. Hey, beast! Die! And he throws his hands forward using power word kill. Anything under 17 will die instantly. All right, so roll a D100. Uh, seven, 17. So what happens is Ren's being possessed by something else that we don't know about, but he's got some extreme magical powers. His magical powers have a certain ability to work or not just because... He's not in Ren's body. Brett, do you have that, that chart that I sent you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, well, yeah. that's that's the fail chart. But do you have the other chart? <laughs> what do you mean other chart? Success rates or not. What level What level spell is it? It is a ninth level spell. Oh, that's really tough. So you'd it's, have to get it. It's a, overkill. Yeah, you, you'd have to get very high. So you, you, so in your perplexed, what usually happens doesn't happen. And you're like, ah, What's going on with this? You have a lot to learn about your half body. You rolled the under again, right, Spence? Is no, no, he didn't fail it. He just he got a seventeen. So, so that now, that actually did, for a level nine spell, it doesn't work. Basically. So since it's a verbal and it's a one action, and it was a one action to bring him here, he's yep. now going to use the final action and fly over towards the giant. So I'm going to move him on. Very good, and Luna. Luna is invisible. So she's going to go try and stand like right behind. So he's a little, a wee bit flanked. A wee bit. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him with my rapier. (laughs) Um, 12 total. Okay, you missed him. She goes, she's going, good try, my turn. (laughs) (laughs) So you get three attacks on him. Yep. 
Uh, the first one is a 29 to hit. He's worth five stars, by the way. Uh, you hit him. 25. Mm -hmm. A hit, you and hit. then negative 10 on the next one. Yep. Mm -hmm. You remember. Uh, that one's going to miss. Okay, so you got two That's hits. That's a 20. Um, two hits. So, oh, lucky, and I get sneak attack. Yeah, you sneak attack damage yeah. too. Twice. He's, he's too dumb to get up. Yo! I like the sound of all those dice. Uh, yeah. uh, the first one is nine damage, and the second one is 11 damage. So, 20. And that was with the extra sneak attack damage too, on both? That's, that's correct. Okay. Was so that nine, nine, not Brett? very strong. Yeah, nine, nine total, yeah. He looks pretty screwed up. He likes living, so he gets up. You guys can all get an attack of opportunity, and okay. he bails. Nineteen. I won't attack a fleeing. Twenty-eight. You feel bad for it. Well, no, I, I, I have honor. Twenty-two. Rogues and brigands. 20, you need a twenty-four. And it, he's not prone anymore. So twenty-nine does hit. He's down one hundred forty. Who, who did that? Did Anastasia do all that damage? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna. It's five points, and uh, he falls as he's running away. And you see all the human heads he's collected. <laughs> and they roll out of his bag. Ah! Oh. It's none one of those moros. The, none uh, of them are the halflings or moros, right? <laughs> Let's yeah. roll for some treasure. Everybody roll a D100. All right. Uh, who got the highest? Theros. For 49? 49 is the highest, really? Tom, did you roll? Yeah. yeah, I did. I got a 24. It's not much with this guy. Theros, you find... Even though you, you wanted the giant to live, unfortunately, you find a half-eaten, like, it looks like it was just kind of bitten out of, so like, like the half necklace, worth about 50 gold pieces, you think, if they just smelted it down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a great club. <laughs> well, I'm not taking that great club. Yeah, it's great. It's really great. Thank goodness. I wonder where his mom is. What do you think it was? <laughs> so, so what was it, Spee? How much was it? It's worth 50 gold pieces. And it's a necklace, half-eaten necklace. It's like, a, yeah, you can tell he ate it out of a, you know, just kind of spit it out because it was shiny. <laughs> Luna, it, it becomes visible again. <laughs> and, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's, ah. I'm not used to this either. She opens up her book and starts writing down. And <laughs> Star. Uh, hey, Ren, you want to come down so we can keep moving? Luna, put your, what are you doing? There's a hill giant. That means there's probably more. We should probably keep moving. Yes, I'm documenting it so other people can know that there's hill giants in this area. She hey, kid, the book. I'm going to go. It sounds like some bossy bit telling me to come down from here. The I don't heck? want them to know who I am. <laughs> wow, your schizophrenia is going to get you in a great deal of trouble, Ren. Right. I can tell you that right now. I'll see you later, Ren. Or whatever the hell your name is. Nice. Now just keep this body safe. And Ren comes down to the... Ren's like shaking and he, he kind of lands. I'm sorry I couldn't really help up there. I was I was trying to get a better angle and, and uh, <laughs> I just... Uh, it's like I blacked out for a second. But I'm glad you're good. Yeah. It was pretty you... offensive what you said up there, uh, Ren. <laughs> I, 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 look, I, I just... I've got to be honest with you. I, I, look, everybody's just looking out for your best interests. I mean... Yeah. To categorize someone as bossy and then the expletive ass afterwards, it's just... What? I'm going to pretend like you didn't say those things, and we're going to go get you some help. And and Anastasia just, like, grunts and walks away. It's just the mind effect spell. Don't worry about it. It's not him. Yeah, that's... Luna, did I do something? I just... Seems well, like... Well, he said a, a few uncomfortable things, and let's go get you checked. Yeah, Ren, you, I think you need to get a little bit more woke. But listen, before we go and do this... <laughs> You, now that it's just us, I want to talk to you. That, uh, as you both know, I am, of course, an artist underneath this handsome, rugged champion exterior. And uh, I've had to deal with these emotions, these conflicted emotions of what I'm going through with this whole revelation around Mora. And I've, um, I've penned my latest poem. Can I share it with you? Sure, Theris. Uh, yeah. Anastasia's going to, like, stop the group. And lean against the wall. I'm sorry. Let's hear it. <laughs> so I call this piece Sweet Mora of Mine. You see Luna just like cover her face and be like, 
It's for mine. <laughs> She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhoods by the sea where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Now and then when I see her face, it takes me away to that special place. And if I stare too long, well, I'd never break down and cry because I'm too manly for that. <laughs> oh, 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 sweet more of mine. Oh, 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 sweet more of mine. That's really Sarah, so I, I, Sarah, Wait, so I think there's it's, more. It's, Where did you go? I think it, I, Where did I mean, you go really now? Where did thing. you go? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Where did you go? Anastasia, what Sweet were you Mara. asking? Where did you go? Eros, uh, Mara, we'll that's worth two it. stars. That's we two can stars. Uh, keep walking <laughs> really now. You want... Good. Okay, so no, for next time? I told you so. Hey, Theros, you're in love with her, aren't you? No, I love her like a sister. It's not like that. You know what I'm saying? We go back so far. Our families used to If you love your sister like together. that, I've got questions. <laughs> Listen, I'm not even going to go down that path. I don't know what you brigands do in the forests and the Aspis Consortium. I won't judge, but at the same time, I won't placate. Let's dim, dim this conversation so we're not screaming that thing in the middle of this town, right? Yeah, you're just, you're an ass. Kiss her. What, the fact that we're Pathfinders? <laughs> Should we not be screaming that out? I we talked that was about right this through Do you want to see Mora? We, yes. We can turn around. We can turn this house, we can turn this boat around right now. No, no, I want to go to the mental okay, asylum. Okay, then let's keep it quiet. What, Sarah, what is it, we... the, the, the golden coyote thing? Does Mr. Happy. Does it need to see? Oh no, you've Mr. got it all Happy. wrong. It's Mr. Spitfire, and this is exactly why we need Mora back because you just aren't doing a good job with this at Anastasia all. Anastasia okay. turns around because she's right in front of Theros, and she grabs his face and says, "Shut up." All right. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are having this conversation, you make it to the city and you walk through the city, and eventually you ask a, a guard, like, "Hey, where is the the asylum?" And uh, you get directions, and Theros, you kind of know, but it's not like you had an aunt that was like a great aunt that was put here, and miracles were worked with her. Like, as soon as she came out, she was amazing. Uh, going in, she had a lot of issues going on. That's true, and, but that was a while ago. We've advanced in modern medicine since then, <laughs> and, and clerical healing. Thank, thanks in no small part to Mora's family, so we, we wouldn't send too many more lights worn to here. I mean... But Aunt Bedelia was a was a one-off, uh, and yes, they did great work, but it's not something that continued throughout the generations of Light Swarm. Nice. And as you make it there, you encounter a patient. He's like, Dad! <laughs> he runs out and hugs you. <laughs> oh, Dad! Oh, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> you make it to the, the asylum, and obviously there's some patients out and about, and some doctors and nurses roaming around, and... What a fantastic episode. I feel you guys so accomplished so much in one episode. I actually feel like fighting hill giants slows it all down. I don't know. Mm. We murdered that sucker. You really did. I gotta throw bigger stuff at you. Uh -oh. I don't do that. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Our no, blended no. level is like four. I, I, I yeah. still has like a dent seriously from Yeah, what what is everybody's level, just so we know? Three. 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 Four. Dukes. Six. Oh, she's six. Yeah, she's been fighting the drought. I've been like very actively fighting every day. Six. I've been actively writing things down every day. Yeah. Your brain is level six. Yeah. I've been actively Ooh. tormented My every day. My intelligence is so, not. You know. <laughs> I poke a padded self. I go hello. <laughs> yeah, she's done it so much that there's no more padding. There's she's no more. It's gone. In the, in the wall. It says, like, level twenty crazy. <laughs> level twenty crazy. Well, Brooke, that was a fun episode for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brooke. <laughs> no, I love watching. I love watching. Well, it was fun because it was mostly about saving you. So that was it, that letter was just <laughs> gut wrenching. It's the only thing we've ever played twice on an episode. That's true. But it was so worth worth it. It was just oh, amazing. so amazing. It was amazing. Oh, so amazing. Imagine yeah. reading it after the episode where she gets taken away in your room by yourself. Yeah. I can't believe she sad. wrote that. Because I honestly, I contacted her. I said, "Do you have something that you could write down?" And she's like, "Sure." Thank you. <laughs> nice job. Well, I can't wait to see what happens in this. For a star, anybody remember the doctor's name? E. Yeah. 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 Medengimi. 
Oh, shoot. There's a star, Mel. Wow, Mel. Bravo. Uh, does anybody nice. remember what he's most famous for? There, there was one incident, and then he's got another thing he's yeah, famous for. Yeah, Half brain into the flesh it. golem. Is it cheating if I say it? Because I was the one who subjected a schizophrenic children. patient. Half a brain removed and put into a golem. Golem the baby. Flesh golem, baby. Flesh golem, and he perfected cloning. I'm going to give that to Brooke. <laughs> That's a fair. star for Brooks, yeah. Do you know what the mental hospital <laughs> name got... is called? Ooh. Yeah. No, I'm in there. I don't know the name. I'm just... Splintered. I know uh, Marshmallow. Mel gets it. Yeah, splintered. Mel gets it. Splintered. The Splintered Asylum. I've learned if I pay almost. attention. <laughs> there are no she splinters stuff. in my room. I record yeah. stuff. <laughs> she's, she's being a pathfinder. That's Great right. job, you guys. I am. Mel, what do we do? What do we do when we say thank you We're for listening? Do it. We're doing it live. Hey. Oh, subscribe, like, like follow. Subscribe, yeah. follow all social media platforms. If you don't, we'll send Mel five after you. Stars. I will hunt you down. <laughs> I will look up your IP address and share your Google history. Yeah, wow. that's right. Oh, please don't do that. Oh, yeah, dang, please don't. Oh, dang, dang. Now, I'm, now this is making That's me a legitimate threat. So. <laughs> we just got 100,000 followers right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah look at that's those amazing. numbers climb. I know. We're, we're actually doing pretty good in the social, but we do need everybody to kind of show up and subscribe and like. really helps yeah. out. So if we you need my Google that. history for that, just let me know. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going for good place. That's some right. weird shit. That's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. Woo, oh, woo, that was not the applause. Woo, woo, woo. Day or day or See you next noon. week. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy yeah, yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's on Con 2024. Happy birthday. <laughs> Enjoy. Don't miss out. Press that subscribe button. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at Loaded Dice Rollers and at Gia McClouds. <laughs>